classic. Saying? You know, gotta have a cl classic BBC hoodie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From back in the day. Tyga is an American rapper and television personality who gained prominence in the hip-hop community when he released the song Rack City in 2011, which peaked at number 7 on the Billboard's Hot 100 chart. Success didn't come easily to him, as it took him more than just two albums and several mixtapes before his own song landed in the top 10 list. However, it was his association with one of the Kardashian girls that catapulted him to the consciousness of the general public, not only locally but internationally. His name and activities trended online, mostly because he dated Kylie Kardashian. Tyga, which stands for Thank You God Always, was born Michael Ray Stevenson on the 19th of November 1989 in Compton, California to Vietnamese and Jamaican parents and was raised in nearby Gardena. As a kid, he was exposed to rap music largely because of his cousin Travis McCoy, who was with the rap rock band called Gym Class Heroes. He then became an avid listener to successful rapper artists Eminem, Fabulous, and Cameron and was inspired by them. He gained confidence with his songwriting and submitted his songs to online chat rooms to get feedback. Tyga would also join numerous rap contests in school. He started making mixtapes after Travis invited him on tour with his group, and that experience exposed Tyga to the intricate world of the music industry. It was also his cousin who helped Tyga land his first recording contract with Bat Squad Records, part of the Decay Dance label owned by Pete Wentz. He then started releasing tracks and later signed a record deal with the better-known label Young Money Entertainment, founded by rapper-producer Lil Wayne. Rappers were not only known for their prolific songwriting skills and swag, but also for their impressive ability to date some of the hottest women in the entertainment industry. It's been said that Tyga has dated around 28 personalities, but only a few associations lasted longer than six months. Here are some of the most noteworthy relationships and hookups that he's had. Around the time that Tyga released his mixtape Young on Probation in 2007, he also started to mingle with people from the music industry. His first known public relationship was with Kylie Williams, the former member of the pop group 3LW. Kylie also found success as an actress in the Disney musical TV movie called The Cheetah Girls and its sequels. This relationship lasted for about a year, so an early, relatively lengthy association. Just as Tyga was establishing his name in the hip-hop community, with the release of his independent debut album No Introduction in 2008, he was reportedly wooing the model Chanel Iman. She started a modeling career at the age of 12, and it only took her four years with Ford Modeling Agency to have a shot at the Supermodel of the World contest, which she won. It didn't take long for the rapper to get her to say yes, and in May of 2009, they officially announced through Vogue magazine that they were in a relationship. Chanel said that she was quite impressed when she received a Balenciaga bag as a Christmas gift, but not because it was an expensive brand, but because Tyga knew it as such, saying that it was quite rare for men to be in the know about the latest in fashion. Actually, Tyga has always been interested in fashion and was clad in Louis Vuitton and YSL accoutrements during the interview with the magazine. When Tyga first dated Jordan Craig over a decade ago, no one thought it was that serious for them to marry. It was only in May of 2019 that it was revealed to the public that Tyga tied the knot with the 18-year-old Jordan on the 6th of September 2010 in Los Angeles. But as with his previous relationships, it didn't last long, as the rapper filed for divorce just a month later, granted in 2011. It wasn't a surprise that no one knew of the marriage because it was of such short duration, and since Jordan wasn't yet known, she only started a career as a social media personality in 2012 with a fashion and lifestyle blog and not until 2014 that she found herself in the limelight, when she was impregnated by the professional baller Tristan Thompson, but who then left her to date Khloe Kardashian. Tyga was also still creating a name for himself. Neither of them could know that their names would become entangled again years later, when he became involved with one of the Kardashian girls. Quickly moving on, in 2011, Tyga dated Angela Renee White, otherwise known as Black China who gained media attention for appearing as Nicki Minaj's stunt double for Kanye West's music video for the song Monster in 2010. She also piqued the curiosity of many fans when rapper superstar Drake mentioned her in his song Miss Me. The former stripper appeared in magazines such as Straight Stuntin', Black Men's Magazine, and Dime Piece. Tyga met Black China when she was chosen to star in the music video of his song Rack City from his second studio album Careless World, Rise of the Last King his first album released under a major label and which landed at number 4 on the Billboard 200 chart. He and Black China had a son named King Cairo Stevenson in October 2012 
and in December that year announced their engagement. Everything seemed to be going well for the couple, that is until they split up in 2014. While she said in an interview that he never cheated on her, it seemed that she was thrown out of the house because Tyga was already heavily interested in Kylie Jenner, with Black China saying, conversely, that she was the reason that the relationship ended. Tyga denied any association several times, since Kylie was still a minor back when the rumor started. Fans thought that it was the end of the Tyga Black China drama, but since they became entangled with the Kardashian brood, the media's interest in them rose, and they found their names as trending topics on Twitter and Instagram. Even before Kylie came into the picture, Tyga reportedly hooked up with Sophia Body in 2012, although some sources said that her thing with Tyga wasn't even that, but just an encounter. She was a French Greek model who hailed from Toronto and who gained mainstream popularity when she joined the eighth season of the supporting cast of the reality TV series Love & Hip Hop, New York, allegedly booted out after she had an altercation with other people in the show. She now lists DJ as one of her professions on her Instagram profile. In 2014, Tyga was featured in Kylie Jenner's Instagram account during the latter's 17th birthday post, and fans couldn't stop talking about them. The age gap was enormous. And yes, she was still legally a minor. The dating rumor made so many people uneasy that even her popular sisters and mother denied that something was going on between the two, except for friendship. Kylie, the reality TV star and entrepreneur, is the youngest child in the Kardashian family. The Tyga Kylie connection started when he performed at Kendall Jenner's 16th birthday celebration in November 2011, when Kylie was still 14 years old people noticed that she was lightly flirting with the rapper, as shown in an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The two became friends and started hanging out after they saw each other again at Kanye and Kim's wedding. When Tyga ended his relationship with Black China, rumors went wild that it was because of Kylie, although he posted a denial on Twitter in September 2014, saying, Don't believe the rumors. Been friends with the family forever. We were all just friends. However, after a month, she began appearing in Tyga's Instagram posts, and in this era of social media platforms, this development was as good as an official announcement of being a couple. When Kylie posted a photo of them together wearing matching Halloween costumes, such as Chucky and Chucky's Bride, the press and fans had a field day. The controversial couple even fueled the rumors by being spotted leaving together after a Grammy weekend celebration. The Tyga Kylie scandal web became more entangled when the model Amber Rose joined the fray the ex-girlfriend of Kanye West, who was Kim Kardashian's husband, saying during an interview that it was shameful of Tyga to leave a beautiful woman and their baby for a little girl who had just turned 17. She's good friends with Black China and felt that she needed to say that. Khloe Kardashian came to her sister's defense, saying that there were always three sides to the truth and people shouldn't judge her sister without knowing the facts. Kanye, on the other hand, declared that the two were in love and that it was smart of Tyga for getting in early on. It seemed that the two were just waiting for Kylie to turn one year older so that they could publicly announce the relationship to avoid the issue of Tyga dating a minor. Indeed, after celebrating her 18th birthday, there were no more denials, particularly when he gave her a brand new Ferrari 458 convertible as a gift. They were seen everywhere engaging in PDA whenever they felt like it. However, they reportedly broke up once amid rumors that he slept with a transgender while she dated Canadian singer-rapper Party Next Door. Tyga wooed her back, and they were spotted getting cuddly again in public. He even gave her a new Maybach to celebrate her 19th birthday. Rumors of an engagement came out after her Instagram post showing a huge ring she received from him, although she denied that it was for their engagement. There were also rumors about a sex tape of the couple making the rounds on online porn sites, but she vehemently denied it, declaring that she would never be caught on a sex tape, ever. Officially, the relationship lasted for two years before they called it quits in April 2017. The breakup was reportedly caused by Black China's revelation that Tyga allegedly wasn't paying child support. It also didn't help that the former stripper started dating Kylie's only brother, Rob Kardashian, in January 2016. And after just 10 weeks of dating, they became engaged in April 2016. While the relationship complicated things in the Kardashian household, everyone warmed to it when they discovered that Black China was expecting a child, and it was revealed that she was a great influence on Rob at the time. Meanwhile, after Tyga and Kylie separated briefly in 2016, Tyga went on the prowl for a new girl and had a fling with social media star Demi Rose. The British Instagram model stature went up when she dated Tyga after he took her to the Cannes Film Festival and they were inseparable for a while. Fans couldn't help but notice her resemblance to his ex-girlfriend Kylie and she was immediately referred to as Kylie's doppelganger. 
her Instagram following rose to almost 17 million, but she said she was already popular in school since the MySpace era. Her regular posting of sexy selfies helped her gain fans, but dating Tyga increased her followers exponentially and opened more doors for her, including featuring in several music videos of other artists. She wasn't coy about a brief time with Tyga, saying that they did like each other, but logistics played a huge part in their decision to split up. So Tyga was reportedly single again, but was said to have dated Amina Blue, an American model with German-Pakistani roots. Photos of her having fun in the sun with Tyga in Jamaica went viral, and fans soon concluded that he had moved on and found a replacement for Kylie. Amina became popular as one of Kanye West's muse for his clothing line. Kylie's brother-in-law was said to have been so fascinated with Amina's exotic look that even at 5 foot 1 inch or 1 meter 55, she was allowed to work for Kanye's fashion show Yeezy Seasons 1 through 3. When she walked wearing a full body stocking with a bra top and nude colored bikini, she attracted a second look from many and they never stopped looking. She has since appeared in magazines and other fashion events. The dating rumors were unfounded since the reason for Amina being with Tyga in Jamaica was that she featured in his music video or MV for the song One of One. A backlash ensued after the MV was aired as some were annoyed at Tyga for featuring Amina, a white girl, instead of Jamaican models particularly that he's half Jamaican and they were filming in Jamaica. Fans also criticized his song for being very similar to a couple of Drake songs such as Controller and One Dance. People speculated that if there weren't other issues surrounding his new song, the two could have ended as a couple. But Tyga denied all these dating rumors anyway by posting single, focused, blessed, living life on his Instagram. After the Tyga Kylie drama, Fans were surprised that Tyga apparently engaged in another high-profile relationship, this time with Iggy Azalea. The dating rumors were all over social media platforms, with sources claiming that they saw the two getting cozy and hugging at the 2018 yearly music extravaganza Coachella, arriving on the scene holding hands, with Tyga's arm around her shoulders during this concert. The Australian rapper, singer and model, who conquered the hip-hop and pop mainstream music after appearing on the cover of XXL magazine's 2012 freshman class issue, Iggy Azalea, crushed the rumors telling everyone during an interview with entertainment reporters that she and Tyga didn't cuddle or hug at Coachella, but since there were too many people at the concert, they might have been standing pretty close to each other. The fancy hitmaker further explained that even when you went out with a group, people would only notice the most popular ones and assume the worst, or sometimes the best. She declared that she was extremely single at that time, but fans were somewhat skeptical about her denial since she was known to have dated a certain type of man, including rapper ASAP Rocky and basketball player Nick Young. Quickly moving on, rumors went viral in January 2019 that Tyga was dating the Australian fitness guru, model and social media star Tammy Hembrow. Fans assumed that she was the girl in Tyga's remix on Am Ye's song, Uno, in which he used explicit words in his rap verses describing his sexual experience in the parking lot of the In-N-Out Burger joint. Some fans were aghast at the lyrics, Go Tammy, keep dancing, you nasty, no panties, get a wife, that'll come in handy, and that P hit B, you deserve a Grammy. However, Tammy said that she'd already heard the song before it hit the airwaves and that she approved it, adding that people should relax because it was just a song and wasn't real. The Instagram star with more than 12 million followers denied that they were dating, that they were just friends. When Bella Porch was linked to Tyga, it created so much fuss online. She was hailed as one of the TikTok queens for having close to 73 million fans on the social media app. They collaborated to make TikTok videos in September 2020, and when fans realized that they filmed it in Tyga's Los Angeles home, it was assumed that they were dating. It would have been just fine since both of them were single. However, the rumors didn't stop there, but ballooned to them making a sex tape accessible on the subscription-based social media app called OnlyFans. Bella Horde was born in the Philippines but raised in Hawaii and worked in the US Navy. She became a social media influencer when she made it big online after posting a TikTok video of her lip-syncing to Millie B's track M to the B. It took only a month before it became the most liked video on TikTok and has now attracted close to 50 million likes. She addressed the sex tape issue, saying that it wasn't true at all, and to her credit, there has never been any evidence to the claim. No such tape has floated on the internet to this day. So we come to mid-2021. Tyga officially has a new girlfriend named Cameron Swanson, a fashion designer and social media influencer based in Miami, Florida. Cameron has regularly featured in the rapper's social media account, including Tyga sharing in a post his date with his son King Cairo along with his new girl at Walt Disney World. 
She was also seen with Tyga flying aboard a private plane and receiving a luxury brand watch from the rapper for her birthday. Fans speculated that the huge diamond ring on her finger could be an engagement ring, and that the couple was just keeping the news to themselves to avoid being a media spectacle, as happened in his past relationships. Sources close to Tyga said that the rapper had matured and was keeping his personal life under the radar. It seemed that he wanted to distance himself from all the past issues he'd been involved in, saying in an interview that the never-ending controversies with Kylie Jenner overshadowed his talent and every accomplishment he worked hard for. Well, make of that and his current association what you will. Has this leopard changed his spots? Don't hold your breath for too long. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.